The method of solving Amazon CAPTCHA is based on obtaining a token, and in the classical sense, is not different from other common types of CAPTCHAs that we solve using a token. However, there are some specific features. A detailed list of parameters that need to be passed to the CAPTCHA recognition service is provided in our API. The link is in the video description. Below you can find examples of code in various programming languages. The main problem with Amazon CAPTCHA lies in its two dynamic parameters, IV and context. We can find these parameters on the CAPTCHA page by opening the developer mode. The problem is that they change every 30 seconds or so. If the specified limit is exceeded, the token will become invalid and the CAPTCHA will be considered unsolved. Manual search of these parameters is not suitable for us. The search, copying, and pasting of the required parameters should be done automatically. To demonstrate the functionality of the method, we have written a simple script that will automatically find the necessary parameters, copy them, and send them to the two CAPTCHA service. The video shows a snippet of the script in action, where it successfully locates the required parameters and submits them to the service automatically. To use the script from the video, you need to download it from the link in the description. After that, you need to configure it. Paste the URL where the CAPTCHA appears into the index file. You need to insert your 2 CAPTCHA API key into the ENV file. You can find your API key on the main page of your personal account. All links will be in the video description. Additionally, you need to download and install the Puppeteer and 2 CAPTCHA TS libraries for the script to work. You will also need the Dote NV library. Now we are ready to run the script to demonstrate the functionality of our method. The script is run with the standard command node index.mjs. Naturally, there can be several ways to automate such a process, and you can use the one that suits you or write your own. Our method is just intended to demonstrate to you that the method works, whether to use our code or not is up to you. At the end, we deliberately blurred the opened website, but even from the blurred image it is clear that the CAPTCHA was passed.